You can find that seven day forecast at KTVB.com if you're interested. But first day back to school today and work for most of us after a long holiday break like me. Maybe you're like me and wondering what are you going to do for dinner tonight when you get home? Because all of a sudden all that free time you had just went out the door. Maybe you're already planning which fast food joint you could stop in, pick something up. No judgment, but before you start thinking about your options, consider paying an ode to the founder of one of the greatest inventions of all time, without whom Idaho probably wouldn't be synonymous with potatoes. Grab some French fries in honor of the man who created the frozen French fry. J.R. Jack Simplot, born in Iowa on this day in 1909. His family moved to Idaho, and by the time he was 14 years old in 1923, He'd quit school to start his own business near Declo. For more than 15 years, he worked himself into pretty good business so that by the start of World War II, the J.R. Simplot Company was the largest shipper of fresh potatoes in the country, selling millions of pounds of dehydra dehydrated potatoes and onions into the military. And when wartime shortages made it hard to buy fertilizer, well, Jack just built his own manufacturing plant in Pocatello and made his own. After the war ended, the Simplot Company created it and marketed the first commercially viable frozen French fry in the world. A lot of them. The Simplot became the exclusive supplier of French fries to McDonald's restaurants. So likely you had one or 50. He passed away in 2008 at the age of 99. After his death, Simplot left behind a collection of vintage tractors. And instead of building a museum for them, the idea was to create a, a lively community space where people could come and innovate new ideas. Well, that space is known as Jump or Jack's Urban Meeting Place. It's one of the coolest buildings in downtown Boise, and it's right next door to the world headquarters for the Simplot Company.